given the circumstances of being put out there? Uh, I think he did great. He did great. He uh, he stepped up. Um, he really showed no fear, no anxiousness when he was out there. I mean, he just stepped up in the moment and, and took care of business. I think he did great. Good, Dylan. You guys have ran the ball relatively successful the last two weeks, especially this past week. And what's been the key to success for you guys up front? Um, I'd say just, just reverting back to our fundamentals. Um, you know, we're still not satisfied. I mean, we might have improved, but we're still not to our standard. Um, you know, but like I said, just just going back to our fundamentals, trying to go back to the basics is the main thing. Great rumor out there that uh, you've got seasons over now that Brooke, Brock Bowers is out. Uh, I'd like to just hear what what how you guys respond to that kind of narrative that's being passed around. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, our our morale, I guess, is good, um, but our. Our whole uh, philosophy is just next man up. You know, I mean, we got some guys that um, can can make some big plays, and, and um, they've got a big opportunity. So, just guys need to step up and, and take care of business. Yeah, you played high school football with Oscar Dell, obviously known him a while. What is he like as a player, friend, teammate, and what sort of allows him to go out there and sort of make plays for this team? Yeah, he's a really gutsy player. I mean, he'll go out there and. He'll jump in the air. I mean, y'all have seen him do, you know, front flips and stuff. So he's a really gutsy player. Um, he he does a great job of just coming to work every day and, and, and trying to get better every single day. That's just something he does really good. When you got yeah. here a year after him, is, was there anything you noticed that was maybe different about him having spent that year in the program already? Uh, about him? Yeah, about Oscar. When I got here? Yeah. Um, I was here before him. No, so. okay. no you're good. You're good. You're all good. Along the same lines as Chip's question, just how much do y'all use that as a rallying cry around, you know, being without Brock, and is that something y'all discuss as players? Um, not really. I mean, not really. It's kind of just something that, you know, I mean, it happens. It's football, you know. So guys are going to get hurt. Um, you know, like I said, we just have that next man up mentality and just try to just keep rolling with the punches. Dylan, you're obviously kind of a tough guy yourself, you know. Wrestler that you were. What was your impression of Lucky when he came in? We, we heard these stories from Kirby about him trying to take on the team when he came in. Did you know this cat was different? And what kind of insight can you give us? To For sure. Question? Yeah, he was definitely different. Um, you know, we do those skull sessions, and he talked about his brother, and um, that kind of said a lot to me um, about him, just how he wants to live every day for his brother, and. You know, he. I think he really does do that. I think he approaches every day with the right mentality, and um, he just he does a great job of coming to work. You know, he he comes here every day and tries to get better. Today he he uh, hit somebody pretty hard and and it had a really good hit in practice. So he's he's doing good. Yeah, Dylan, you and Micah obviously are rotating in there at guard. I'm curious, where are y'all's games similar and where are they different? Me and him. Yeah. Um, Mike is a big, strong guy. Um, so, you know, I think that, you know, we do a good job of, of coming with the power. Um, I think we both, you know, just have to continue to improve on our fundamentals and our footwork. Um, Micah does a, a, an amazing job of, of striking people. <laughs> and that's, that's what Micah does really, really well is strike people. So, Kirby talked about Monroe in a recent challenge that he gave him and you know how much he's been rotating in with the ones. What have you seen from him over the course of this first half of his freshman season? And we almost kind of treat him like he's not a freshman. Like sometimes we'll be we'll get all mad at him or something because he'll mess something up and then we realize, oh yeah, he's still a freshman. Like he's he's so advanced compared to, you know, what I guess we all came in as and he's 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 really ahead of a lot of um, other people that probably he's he was compared to in high school, and we treat him that way. You know, we treat him like he's a like he's kind of already a vet, but you know he's not. He's a freshman, so you know we got to remember that. He's got to remember that, and just remember that he's got to keep just rolling with those punches and those mistakes. State champion wrestler, what did you what have you taken from the mat to the gridiron? Just winning, just winning in wrestling. Um, the main thing I would probably say is is physically, I'd say hand fighting, but um, 
the other side, the mental side, I'd, I'd say the mentality of wrestling, just the grind of wrestling, cutting weight, um, having to go against another man for six minutes straight. I mean, that's that's hard to do. And I think just the mentality of, of growing up around wrestling has helped me a lot. Yeah, ask Kirby about this. I'm curious your thoughts. The turf Saturday. See, Mike, I noticed you slipped a few times on tape. Is mm -hmm. that just standard turf slippage, or what did you think about Saturday's turf? Uh, it was definitely slick. It was it was slicker than what I'm used to, for sure. Dylan, as an offensive lineman, what does it do for you to have a back like Dejan, who, if you give him a little bit of space, he can turn it into something big like we saw on Saturday? means everything, you know. Um, we make mistakes, and sometimes he makes, I don't know what you would call it, but he makes advantages off of our mistakes, you know. We might go have the wrong block or have the wrong look, and he just cuts it off, cuts it back inside, or, you know, just fixes our mistakes. And, and that really, we appreciate that a lot, so. Time for two more, anyone? All right, thank you. Thanks, Dylan.